Yo, today I'm going to open up this Leo in Disguise by Playmates. It's uh, based on the 90s movie, and I've got a NECA from the 90s and a Playmates from the 87 series that are both 6 inch, so let's, let's take a look. That's cool. Leo in Disguise, he's got this dope trench coat and this cool hat. It's a velvety fedora. It feels uh, like suede-ish. Velvety, I guess. Oh, and it's got for his bandana an extra spot and it fits nice too. It's got some little like slits so that it fits snug on his head. If I can get it back on. I was going to say it's the best fitting hat I've ever seen on a TMNT, but it's hard to get it on there. But once it's on there, it's on there good. So that's cool. And the trench coat is good. It's always hard to make clothes for them because their shell's so big. So I can use this as a template for uh, future projects, but this particular trench coat I'm going to take off because I'm going to use it for a different project. And I don't know who's going to get this hat. Maybe he'll keep it. But his face is different. It's the same size as this Leo. This is a 6 inch Leo, but you can't stand him up straight. This guy almost wants to stand up straight. Yeah, he stands up a lot straighter, so that's good. Happy about that. These are pretty nice swords. This guy's swords, They're both pretty good. But then that's a lot more detailed, a little skinnier, but uh, cool. Very, very nice. Neck is great. Playmates, so far, so good with this guy. Got a bit of a weird look on his face. Kind of looks like the movie head I guess. They gave it some dots, some freckles. So this should open up. But first I have to undo this belt. It's a nice little touch. And then it velcros open. Oh and he's got the movie strap so uh, it's looking good without this jacket. It's not just the exact same mold as that guy. If I can get this jacket off because their hands are so big it's hard to are these velcro on the sleeves? Got a cuff. Alright, got one arm. Glad we could experience this together. Oh, look at his shell. Dope coat. I like that. But in the movie, we never see Leo in disguise. We only see Raph. But they made a Mikey and a Leo in disguise. No Donnie yet. Or Raph. By Playmates. Everyone else did the Raph in disguise. Or at least NECA. But he looks pretty good. He looks really good, I think. Well, for Playmates, for 6 inch, the detail on the shell compared to this guy. Because they keep re-releasing these old ones. Like every year or two, they re-release them. Sometimes they paint the pads or the mask a different color. But uh, these guys are kind of cool. Pretty good. I cut off his strap because in the cartoon he doesn't have a strap. But the real comparison and I like because the shell's smaller and it's also lighter this guy's shell is as heavy as the rest of them or even heavier so he's always falling over backwards and we have NECA we'll look at the detail on that but the shell with a little paint it could be really close to the NECA his legs is a little less defined muscly in the legs muscularly let's uh right, NECA don't fall Put you on yeah those are pretty good a little dry brushing will bring out all the details in that i do have an idea already of who i want to do with him but i might change that up and just make it look more like the movie the other idea is from comic books 34 points of articulation yes i think because i was reading the back of the box it sounds like they're gonna release um raf and donnie like this and more but also release more of these guys that they already released, but now in a new packaging. This guy's a lot more different than I thought from that guy that they keep doing. He looks dope. So it's 34, so it moves all the regular ones. Shoulder, the fingers move, the thumb moves. The hands are smaller. I wonder if that's going to make it easier to hold the weapon, because this guy has a real hard time holding his sword and not dropping it. But yeah, that hand holds the sword a lot better. So yeah, I'm really happy with this guy. Still a little snug. If I 
get the shoulders to go down. So yeah, this guy's really dope. I mean, his face is making a bit of a weird face, but the animatronic masks in the movie, they have generally made kind of weird faces if they weren't like when they were moving and opening their mouths. He looks scared though, really scared. If I paint over the pupils, it might change it. But yeah, it's Leo in disguise. I'm uh, super happy with this guy. I'm so glad he's different than that guy. It looks good. There's a lot of details you can bring out. He's got the double straps, just like in the movie and maybe with NECA. Even the shape of the shell here is uh, different than the old one, but matching the movie more. There's no shading, but they don't do shading. If they did, they could make a lot of things better. Anyway, so that's been uh, Leo in Disguise. I have Mikey coming because I pre-ordered them both on Amazon, but then I saw this guy by himself at Walmart, so I had to get him right away. I probably won't do a review on Mikey because he's going to be the same but with a different face. But maybe I will, but it'll just be really short. I'll just be showing his face and then putting a link to this video at the end. Maybe. We'll see. But, um, so that's Leo in Disguise by Playmates. I'm really happy with this guy. On Saturday, I'm doing Mystic Raft from Tales of the TMNT Season 5 of the 2012 series. And until then, remember, always keep your head up. Thanks for watching. Peace.